Hello Pisces, welcome. I'm Ryan, thank you for being here. It's gonna be a general reading, so of course everything may not resonate. Take what does and leave the rest. And for more tarot readings after this, please check out my wife's channel, Prophecy 3 Tarot, to review as well. Thank you. See what's going on. Kind of show me right away, Pisces. You're a very big dreamer. Very big dreamer. Big dreams. It's good to have dreams. All right, let's see. Hmm. Do appreciate the directness. Wow, very direct today. I like this. Where's this going? Yeah, you're saying right over to what I just said the dreams, the dreams department. Um, <laughs> what is that? Uh, what is that song, Mr. Sandman? What is that all about? Ooh, Pisces. <laughs> Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Um, uh oh. Uh oh. Um, how'd that happen? How'd that happen? And there you are on top of the deck. You're kind of like, ah, that's what I'm trying to figure out, how that happened. Um, don't know. We'll see. We'll see if we can kind of figure it out and walk through it. But jumping into this, I don't know what has taken place. Um, something clearly is very unfortunate, whatever's taken place, and you're having to kind of, well, you know, leave it behind. But whatever has taken place, you're saying, I need, I need a minute to kind of breathe. I need a minute to kind of straighten out my thoughts. And this is clearly between you and someone. Um, there's a lot of love there. There's a lot of emotions that have been brought up to the surface, whether it be an argument, a fight, a conflict, or it's just kind of going through difficult trials and, you know, tests and tribulations together. I don't exactly know. Um, you are showing me, Pisces, that you are a parental figure and you do have a little one with you and the way that things are progressing and moving forward. There's a lot of happiness. There's a lot of fulfillment. You're kind of like saying the light of my life or the light of my world. Um, there's a commitment, family matter, family dynamic and unit there as well. But what you're kind of saying is, Financially speaking, um, I feel like there is a consideration of your own personal, individual, independent dreams that is in consideration of you're saying right now I do have options and possibilities as to what I could do for work, career, money, finances, maybe content or niche. Don't exactly know. Um, but you're ultimately trying to determine, like, is this actually the right fit for me? Is this what I truly want to do? Is this what I want to kind of dedicate or devote myself to doing or is it not? I don't know exactly what's going on. Um, I feel like for you, it, it definitely has whatever this job, career, content, or niche is, or maybe line of work is, you're kind of showing me, what's that movie? Um, I almost can't think of it. It might be called... <laughs> Let's see if my wife, how my wife responds or reacts to this. I believe it's called Hustle. It's about a bunch of strippers, female strippers. Um, Ew. Yep. <laughs> how to think like a man. How to think, think like a man. Take, the, take from the man, take from the man, and drug them, and fucking take everything from them. And then, okay, okay. That's a little extreme. Does that really go on in that movie? No, but there's certain... Uh, <laughs> Uh, a certain celebrity a long time ago was right about how they liked to do that back in the days when they weren't so celebrities. Oh my goodness. So imagine the lessons women learn from that kind of a person. Hmm. Anyway. Business. The masculine mentality about business. I don't mind strippers. Live your life. But don't be hurting people and abusing people along the damn way. 
I guess they knew what they got themselves into when they walked through the doors. <laughs> they, they were going to empty out their bank account a little bit. <laughs> they knew what they were showing up for. The show. Whatever's going on here, Pisces. What you're kind of saying is strictly business. Um, you're kind of like saying it might be literally part of the business or maybe part of the industry or whatever this is. You're saying if I do this, I need to be like a specific type of way. Um, you're saying you kind of have to be standoffish, cold, clear cut, distant. Um, like I said, very stern, strict, have boundaries in place, business. Um, you're saying it's it's got nothing about it. And this was very interesting is even though you're kind of showing me it doesn't mean anything to you. You're kind of saying for some reason, even though it, it can mean nothing to you, you're showing me it means something to who you have a relationship or commitment with. And that's what's kind of stressing you out. And it's like this interesting energy, as I just saw 555 on the clock, of balance. You know, it's the equivalent of someone saying, just as an example, I'm not saying this, someone that goes out and cheats. Oh, they meant nothing to me. But then the partner or the significant other or lover that they're currently with, that they cheated on with, are going, you say it meant nothing, but it means something to me. And so it becomes like this back and forth battle or argument or conflict or talk or discussion as to, well, then what actually, what does mean something? Do I mean something? Does the job mean something? You say it doesn't mean anything to you, but do I mean something to you? And so there's this interesting play of perspectives being played out. And so you're kind of saying like, it may take a little bit of a, how do I say this? It may dampen the connection that the two of you have together and kind of stress you out. At the same time, you're kind of like, but it's what I love. It's what I enjoy. Um, it may be your passion. I don't exactly know, but you're kind of saying it's too stressful and it's too problematic. So I don't know what's going on like there. Um, yeah, you're, you're saying business-wise. Business-wise. And that's what's interesting is there's this understanding between the two of you about business, work, money, finances, and security. You know, cash flow, income, revenue. But, you know, is it true 100% authentically worth it? Like I said with my example, it's like one person may claim it means nothing to me. But it may mean everything to who you're with. It just depends on, are you going to be able to meet in the middle, find middle ground and make something work and kind of negotiate or kind of talk through this and make it work? Or is it one of those situations where it's kind of like, to hell with them, they need to accept me as I am, how I am. And I don't give a shit or give a fuck about what they say or think of me. There's always that, but that more than likely, that path will end up creating distance between the two of you. There you are, Pisces. So is the people in the world that say, I don't need this person. I don't need that person that are alone and loneliest for the longest time. It's like being lost out at sea. And it's like, I have no one to talk to, but my, my, myself, my thoughts. It's kind of like, congratulations, the world is yours, but there's no one in the world, but, but yourself. There's the world, Pisces. There's the world. <laughs> it's a good movie. Um, Troy. What we do echoes in eternity. And everyone will know. And everyone will remember. Um, so choose what you do in every present day or present moment wisely. It will have long-lasting effects. And there you are on top of the deck, Pisces. So. I feel like, like I said, the two of you are making this decision ultimately together as a team and as a unit. And even though I do kind of feel like what you're saying is... It's a painful realization, but it's definitely a realization. Um, I feel like whatever this is, it's just, a, it's a learning process that's giving you and gaining perspective and clarity. And you're kind of saying, okay, okay, I get it. So whatever that closure is, I feel like the two of you have reached it together. So of course, if you are dealing with anyone, it could be dealing with a fire sign, a water sign, an air sign, or earth sign. Goodbye.